How's it going, everybody? Welcome to today's Sick Mobility class. I am Coach Ray. So for today's class, I am gonna use the squat rack as a wall, and I do have a bench here to act as a chair or something for us to kind of put our foot on top of, on top of or something like that. And then what I have here is a pad, right? Press a new one, and it's gonna be a single stick class today. So you're only gonna need one stick, and I have the six footer here, okay? And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go through the warm up. We are gonna get into some quad and hamstring strengthening exercise today for the strength training, but we're gonna go through some full body mobilizations first. And so what I wanna do here first is I'm actually going to take the stick, grip out as far as I can. We're gonna start with some kayaking. However, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go with the split stance and I wanna stay active. So I wanna drop my hips down just a little bit and keep my knee over my ankle, okay? I wanna keep everything facing forward. So this back hip facing forward, grab out wide, start with my right hand up, and then I'm gonna to start to push that right hand through, okay? I wanna keep my torso facing forward. I'm gonna try not to rotate as much as possible, okay? Now what I want you to do here is I want you to squeeze that right glute to force that hip into extension. So now we're starting to get a little bit more of a stretch in front of the hip as we go through kayaking, okay? Really try to feel those shoulder blades working. Breathe. Good. Now we're gonna start adding in some rotations. Rotate to my left. Now we're gonna rotate to my right. Good. Rotate. The rotations are pretty minor here. Really not all that big of rotations, but we're adding in some T-spine rotation here. Good. I'm going to relax. Now we're gonna switch sides here, okay? And do the same thing. Now we're gonna do it on the opposite side. So stance is still gonna be the same. Toes pointed forward. Bring that knee over the ankle. Drop the hips down a little bit to get an active split stance position. Start with this left hand up, okay? Make sure on all five toes on that back foot. And we're gonna to start to kayak here, okay? So we're not active on that back hip, that glute yet. But now, we're gonna activate that glute, force the hip to stay forward. As we start going here, keep going. Good, now we're gonna to start to add in some rotations. Try to keep that front knee in line with the toes here. Okay, it's gonna be hard balance-wise. Gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but that's okay, right? You need to challenge those tissues to learn how to stabilize better with some movement. Three, two, one, excellent. Good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna take a stance that has my feet at about roughly hip width, all my toes pointed forward here, okay? Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna have the stick in front, bottom of the stick is slightly angled in, and I'll turn to the side, so I'll get a side profile. Okay, I'm gripping a stick at chest height, okay? What do I wanna do from here? Drop my hips down just a little bit, okay? Keep that active position. Pelvis is stacked under the spine. Now I'm gonna bring both heels up as high as I can. Good. Back down. Working on the ankles and the feet here, right? So the stance is a little bit closer here than usual. Heels up. Good. Come back down. And you'll notice that it's actually a little bit more challenging to balance because now that base is more narrow. Bring the heels up, hold, down, good, let's go two more. Hold, back down, excellent. One last time, heels up, all five toes, the ball of the foot, and back down. Excellent. So we're gonna go forward. Now we're gonna go with some of those lateral tissues, but here's what's gonna be a little different. I'm actually gonna be in a little bit more of a 
wider stance. And I'm actually gonna shift my weight to the side that I'm actively working on here. So I'm gonna start on my right side. I'm gonna shift my weight to the right side. And I actually want the stick to still be in front of my hips. So as I'm shifting over here, the stick is in front of my hips here, still in that same position. Switch your hands, okay? You're only lightly on this left leg here. We're gonna start with that right foot. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna bring that right foot up. Good. And then back down. Without your heel touching the floor, come back up. Good, now we're gonna do side to side, so lateral shifting. So I'm gonna shift in, and then out. I'm going to the pinky toe, and in. Going to that big toe, out. Good, in, out, good, in, and out. Back to center, and down. Excellent, now I'm gonna switch over to the left side. So the stick moves to the left side now, so the stick's still in front of my hip. Okay, switch your hands. Drop down to that left side a little bit more. Okay, you're only right, lightly on this right foot here. Bring the heel up, all five toes, okay? Bring the heel back down. Excellent, without a touch on the floor. Now bring it back up again. Good, now we're gonna start with the lateral shifting. So I'm gonna shift in, okay, on the big toe. Now I'm gonna shift out. Now I'm on the pinky toe. In. So now we're getting a significant load out on the ankle and the feet here. In, right, out. So now we're getting more of our body weight shifted over to that side. In, and out. Back to center, and down. Come up, bring the stick right back in front again, okay? And now, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna wiggle my feet in a little bit closer. Now we're gonna go in circles, okay? Switch your hands again. Toes pointed forward, get a nice good horse stance and normal horse stance. Toes forward, hips under the pelvis, okay? Drop the hips down. Now I'm gonna do, bring the heels up to 12 o'clock, okay? Now I'm gonna go to nine, six, without the heels touching the floor, three, and, oops, that's awesome, 12. Good, again, nine, six, three, 12, again, nine, six, three, 12. Now we're gonna switch directions, three, six, nine, 12, Good, a few more. Three, six, nine, 12. Good, two more. Three, six, nine, 12. Last one. Three, six, nine, 12. Bring it back down slowly. Excellent, good. Okay, and so now we're gonna do, we're gonna get into bow and arrow, okay? We're gonna have it where the stick is up against the wall, so we're gonna generate that lateral tension here, okay? But also what we're gonna do from here, I'm gonna add in some rotation of rotating our body away from the stick here, so we're gonna enforce some of that thoracic rotation. So I'm gonna have my feet roughly about hip to shoulder width apart, toes are pointed forward, I'm gonna have my hand, my right hand, where the sticker is on the stick, okay? And what I'm gonna do from here, first gonna drive my hips away. I'm gonna straighten that right arm out. Take my left hand, reach up towards the top of the stick. Still driving my hips away. Then I'm gonna bring this left hand down, still driving the stick towards the wall, I'm gonna pivot that right foot. This in, in the tour, away from the stick here, okay? Now I'm gonna pivot that right foot back down and ease off. And so what we're doing here, we're enforcing some rotation, but we're also getting some lat engagement here as well. 
So we're gonna do the same thing again, okay? Drop the hips away, push the stick in towards the wall. Okay, drive the stick down a little bit. Take my left hand and reach up towards the top. Feel a really good big stretch in that lateral chain here. Okay. Good. We're gonna bring that left hand back down. I'm gonna pivot that right foot away from the stick, rotating my torso and my shoulders away from the stick here. Good. Bring it back to neutral and relax. Good. We're gonna switch sides now. Okay. Good. So positioning is still gonna be the same. Okay. Drop the hips and shoulder width apart. Toes are forward. Hand where the sticker is on the stick. Or wherever it's most comfortable for you. Okay. First thing, drive the hips away. Push the stick into the wall. Take that right hand, reach up. Hold. Make sure you breathe. Bring that right hand back down. Pivot that left foot. So driving that stick towards the wall behind you. And driving the stick to the ground lightly. Good. Bring it back to neutral. And out. Excellent. We're going to go one more time here, okay? Same thing. Hand on the sticker. Okay. Drop hips away from the stick. Extend that hand out. Good. Take the right hand, reach up over the top. Hold. Bring the right hand back down. Now pivot that left foot away from the stick. Rotate those shoulders away. Push that stick into the wall. Drive it down to the floor lightly. Oh, feel that lat engagement here. Three, two, one. Come back to neutral. And come out. Excellent. Good. The last one, we're just going to work with some light rotations of the hip here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have my feet together. Toes are forward. I want the bottom of the stick to be angled in, in line with my toes here, okay? So it's in line with my toes right here, okay? What am I gonna do from here? From that angle, I'm gonna grab at about shoulder height, okay? From here, I wanna drive, I wanna pull my shoulder blade down or shoulder down here, pack that shoulder in, get everything tight on that side. And I wanna drive stick into the ground about 30% tension, okay? Should feel everything turned on over here, right? I'm gonna bring up that right leg, okay? And then I'm gonna start rotating side to side. So I'm rotating externally, then I'm rotating internally. So I'm keeping in contact with the stick here. Rotate externally, internally. Good, let's go a couple more. External, internal. One more time, external internal back to center and down good so not bringing the hip up too high right but i'm keeping my my leg in contact with the stick so there's always that basis of where uh, of knowing exactly where my hip is the entire range of motion here okay same thing hand is at shoulder height okay shoulder blade down or shoulder down pack it in drive that stick into the ground 30 to 40 percent Okay, bring that hip up, externally rotate, keep in contact with the stick, internal, good, external, internal, let's go a couple more, external, internal, last one, external, and internal, back to center, and relax. Excellent, so that concludes the warm up. Kind of get everything moving. And so now we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the floor. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a drill that actively works on hip flexion, but also the quad too. So typically we do this drill kind of in a standing up position, but we're gonna go to a laying down position. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take the stick, I'm gonna grip it a little wider than shoulder width, 
Okay, arms are locked out. And so I'm gonna start with my right hip, okay? What I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna bring my knee up and I'm gonna keep my left leg flat to the floor and I'm gonna bring the stick down to meet the top of my leg or right below where my knee is, okay? What I'm gonna do from here is I want to drive my knee into the stick with about 50% tension, keeping my hands down as well. I want to hold, hold, three, two, one, and ease off, relax, good. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add in knee extension have her in this position here. So you're gonna get a ton of work on the quad and erect them and those hip flexor muscles here. So we're gonna get a lot of anterior chain muscles turned on. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna go back to that same position, bring this right knee up, I'm gonna bring the stick to the top of my quad, I'm gonna drive down, again, 50% tension. Now I'm gonna extend my knee, dorsiflexing the ankle, toes pointed up and back, hold. Three, two, one, bring it back down and relax, ease off. Good, let's go three more, okay? So arm straight, bring the right knee up. Okay, well also what I want you to do here, I really want you to drive that left hip or left foot into the floor, okay? So push the knee up, 50% tension, keep the shoulders down. Now extend that knee, hold, three, two, one, back in, still driving up, and relax, excellent, let's go two more here, okay, so you're getting a lot of those tissues, right, and those anterior tissues in the hip working, same thing again, knee up, drive that knee up, Extend, hold, three, two, one, back in, and down. Excellent, we're gonna go one more time here, okay? Same thing, bring that right knee up, good, push down, 50%, extend, Hold, three, two, one, back down, and relax. Good, now we're gonna switch sides. So you're gonna notice there's probably gonna be a difference uh, in terms of range of motion and how much strength you can generate, that's fine. Also, if you're getting pain here, right, we're trying to reduce that range of motion or even simply bring that right foot back in a little bit more, or, uh, and like so, just so you can reduce the amount of uh, required movement. And so, right leg straight, okay? Arm straight, bring the left knee up, push, 50%. Hold. Three, two, one, and ease off. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the fun part, all right? We got four of these, arm straight, drive that knee up into the stick, extend the knee, toes up, three, two, one, back in, and relax. Awesome, good, we got three more here, okay? Arm straight, bring that left knee up, Push it into the stick, drive. Now extend that left knee, hold. Three, two, one, bring that knee back down, and relax. Good, we got two more here, okay? Arm straight, bring that left knee up, drive into the stick, extend. Keep driving that leg up, hold. Three, two, one, back in, and down. One last time, okay? 
arms straight, bring that left knee up to the stick, drive into the stick, extend the knee, hold, three, two, one, back in, and relax. Excellent. Good. Okay, that concludes that drill on the floor here. So now we're going to go to a standing position. And so this is going to be an isometric. It's going to require a chair or maybe your couch or whatever you have available to you, but something with a little bit of a soft top here. And so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start with this left leg here. Okay. So we're going to go back and forth between activating the quad and the anterior tissues and activating the hamstring. So if you cramp here, just come out of the drill, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna have the stick angled in towards my toes, okay? Roughly about four to six inches away from the line of my toes here. I'm gonna place the top of my foot on the bench, okay? And now my knee, left knee, is in line, or maybe like right in front of my right, okay? This is just to keep that tension, okay? So what I want to do from here is I want to drive my top of my foot into the bench, okay? At about 70% tension and drive it to stick down. Hold. Three, two, one, relax. Excellent, good, okay? We're going to do two more, then we're going to switch sides, okay? So hand is at roughly shoulder height, maybe a little higher, okay? So I want to drive the top of my foot into the bench, drive the stick down 70%, hold, hold, keep pushing, three, two, one, ease off, excellent. Let's go one more time, okay? So drive top of the foot into the bench and drive the stick into the floor, 70%. She should be feeling the quad and those anterior tissues turn on here. Three, two, one, and ease off. Good. We're gonna switch sides here, okay? So. Left foot down, I'm gonna have my right foot back on the bench, okay? Try getting in the same position as the left or the knee in alignment with the left foot, left leg, left knee. Okay, same thing. Hand to shoulder height, pack the shoulder blade down, okay? Drive the top of the right foot into the bench and then drive the stick into the floor. Hold, 70%. Three, two, one, ease off. Good. Let's get two more here, okay? Arm straight, drive top of the foot into the bench, drive the stick into the floor. Breathe. Hold. Three, two, one, ease off. Good. We're gonna go one more time here, okay? Arm straight, okay? Drive the top of the foot into the bench, 70%. Drive the stick into the floor. Hold. Three, two, one, ease off. Excellent. Okay, so now we're gonna do, I'm gonna keep the stick on the same side, okay? But now my left foot's gonna go back on the bench. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a few seconds of driving the top of the foot into the bench, but then we're gonna actively uh, go through knee flexion. So try to bring the heel as close to our butt as we possibly can. So this is gonna be where you're probably gonna start to get cramps, okay? So same position, top of the foot into the bench, okay? Stick still in the same place. So first thing, drive sitting to the ground 70%. Push the top of the foot into the bench. Hold. Now from here, 
Dorsiflex the ankle, try to bring the heel close to the heel as you can, as close to your butt as you can. Hold, three, two, one, back down. Good, now drive the top of the foot into the bench again. Hold, you're still driving that stick down, okay? Now try to bring that heel as close to your butt as you can, dorsiflex that ankle. Hold, hold, three, two, one, back down. Good, now we're gonna switch sides, okay? Now there's a lot on the hamstrings, so we're gonna do two repetitions per side here, okay? So now we're gonna have to stick in that same position, arm straight out, shoulder blade down, okay? Drive that stick into the floor, drive the top of the foot into the uh, bench or chair. Good. Now dorsiflex and bring that heel up as close to the butt as you can. Hold. Three, two, one. Bring the foot back down to the top of the bench. Drive the top of that foot into the bench. Hold. Good, now dorsiflex the ankle, so driving that foot, driving the stick into the floor, bring that heel as close to the butt as you can. Hold, three, two, one, back down, and relax. Okay, excellent. So now we're gonna do a, something like a Bulgarian, but we're gonna do it actively here. Okay, so I'm gonna take the pad and I'm gonna place it on the floor here. Okay, I'm gonna place it back pretty close to the bench. And so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place my left foot forward, okay? And I'm gonna have the stick in my right hand. I want the bottom of the stick to be in line with my toes. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna place the top of my foot on top of the bench, okay? So my right foot is back. I'm only using the stick for balance at first, okay? So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna drive that back foot into the bench lightly, okay, about 30% tension. Then I'm gonna drop down into an active Bulgarian, okay? Cover my knee off the floor. Then I'm gonna pick up the stick overhead. I wanna hold. Still driving that back foot into the bench. Good. Three, two, one. Place the stick back down and stand back up. Perfect, good. Okay, so we're actively working on both uh, hips here and both quads, right? So we're gonna do the same thing, okay? So lightly driving the foot into the top of the bench here. Okay, I'm gonna drive the back foot down. Okay, hover that right knee, pick up the stick. Hold. Three, two, one. Place the stick back down, come back up, push it through our front foot. Okay, excellent. We're gonna go one more time here, then we're gonna switch sides. All right. So drive the top of the foot into the bench. Bring that right knee down close to the floor. Try to be as upright as you can. Pick up that stick, hover it, hold. And three, two, one, place the stick back down. Stand back up and relax. Let's go ahead and switch here. Also, if you're having some issues with knee pain or anything like that or any discomfort, don't be afraid to bring that front foot out a slight bit more, okay? So same position, okay? Top of the foot on the bench. Okay, grip this thing out here. Drive it to the top of my left foot into the bench lightly, okay? Bring it down, hover it, okay? Pick the stick up off the floor, hold. Hold, three, two, one. Place the stick back down, stand back up. Excellent, we're gonna do two more here, okay? So I wanna drive the back foot into the Top of the bench, 30, 40%. I'm gonna drop that back knee down. Still keeping active, hover the knee. Lift the stick, hold. Three, two, one. 
Let's stick back down, stand back up. Excellent. We're gonna go one last time here, okay? Good, drive that top, the back foot to the top of the bench here, okay? Drop that back knee down, cover it off the floor. Stay upright, take the stick up off the floor, hold. Three, two, one, place the stick back down, and stand back up. Excellent, I'm out of it. And that concludes the strength training portion, okay? And so now we're gonna get into the cool down and the stretching. I like to do a lot of rotation, so that's gonna be one of the first rows that we start with here. So I'm gonna take the pad and I'm gonna use the rack as if it's a quarter of a wall here, okay? Now, with this, I'm gonna have my right leg forward, okay? And I'm gonna have my left knee down. So I'm gonna be in this active hip flexor stretch position my back foot, I want to place the top of the foot uh, on, the, on the ground, okay? So I'm in plantar flexion here. Now the bottom of the stick or the opposite end of the stick here, I want to place that roughly in line with my hips, okay? So from my hips straight out to the bottom of the stick. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to place my right hand on the stick and I'm going to extend my hand out, okay? Now what we're gonna do from here, I'm gonna lightly press this back foot into the floor, squeeze this left glute here, okay? Open up those anterior tissues. And then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna bring this stick up and over, and I'm gonna rotate back and reach across my body. So I'm rotating to the right, reaching across with my left hand. So I'm getting a lot of rotation. I'm opening up those anterior sling, uh, sling tissues, okay? Good, then we're gonna bring it back up and over. Good, ease off that tension and relax, okay? We're gonna do a couple more of these. So all we're doing here is we're taking a lot of those tissues that we just used and opening those tissues back up again, right? So arm straight, I'm grabbing the ends of the stick, okay? Active hip flexor stress position, so I'm gonna drive the back foot to the floor, squeeze my left glute. I'm actually gonna shift my hips forward just a little bit here. Okay, activate a little bit more of a stretch. Then I'm gonna open up with that right hand, get that stick behind me, reach across with that left, try to keep this knee in line with the toes. Good, and wanna keep that right shoulder blade down, right? I wanna pack the shoulders so you get better rotation and you're in a good position. Hold. Good, come bring it back up and over. Excellent, and relax. We're gonna do one more time here, okay? Let's try to get a little bit deeper into this hip flexor stress position. So I'm gonna adjust the bottom of the stick a little bit more so I can get my hips forward more, okay? The same thing, right hand on a stick, drive that back foot into the floor, squeeze that left glute, shift my hips forward, really open up those tissues here, okay? Now with this right hand, I'm gonna take it, bring it up and over, reach across with the left, Really reach here, right? Get that active thoracic rotation, okay? That active stretch in the hip flexor, those anterior tissues, that sling system. Hold. Three, two, one, and bring it back forward. Ease off. Perfect. Now we're gonna switch sides here, okay? So I'm gonna turn around. Now my left foot is forward. Okay. So right knee is down, okay? Stick is in line with my hips, going straight out laterally, okay? Back foot, top of my back foot into the floor, okay? Going to go through a same series of activation. Arm is straight out, okay? Driving that back foot into the floor, squeezing that right glute, okay? Really feel that stretch in the hip flexor. Now I'm gonna open up. Rotate, reaching across with my right hand. Hold, keep that shoulder blade down. Don't let it come up and rotate here. Try to rotate, rotate it down. Pack it. Hold, three, two, one. Good, bring that left arm 
up and over and relax knees off excellent we're going to do two more here okay so now this time we're going to shift those hips forward a little bit more right so left hand is straight out drive the top of the foot into the floor squeeze that right glute and shift those hips forward just a little bit okay good come up over rotate back with that left hand reach across with that right still keeping a hip extension by squeezing that right glute hold get your shoulder down three two one we're going to bring it up and over good and ease off okay we're going to go one last time here okay so same thing adjust the bottom of the stick move forward a little bit more so you can shift your hips forward okay left hand is on the stick extend it straight out now i'm going to do drive that back foot into the floor squeeze that right glute shift my hips forward really keep a tight glute here open up and rotate that left hand reach across with the right Try to get as much rotation as you can. Hold. Three, two, one. Good. Bring that left hand up and over. And ease off. Excellent. Good. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the same position. So we're going to go back to a kneeling position. But again, what we're going to do here is we're going to use the wall as a way to brace the bottom of the stick here. So we're going to get up to a little bit of a hang here. Okay, so it's going to be a little tricky. So what I want to do is I want to place my right knee down. Left knee is going to be forward here. Okay, so in terms of what you do with this right leg, it's not going to particularly matter too much. You don't need to go through a series of activation on his right side here but we are gonna drop our right hip down toward the bottom of the stick. So we're gonna drop it to the corner of the wall. So I'm gonna reach up top, okay? I wanna have my arm extended, right? I wanna have it up overhead. What I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna drive the stick into the wall lightly about 15% tension. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to start to shift my hips lightly to the right, keeping the arm straight. I'm gonna get a huge stretch in that lateral chain here. I'm just resting my arm on top of this left leg here. Hold, going to come out slowly by driving the stick into the wall, driving yourself up and relax. Good, we're gonna do that again. So if that's a little bit too much of a challenge, what you can do is you can move the, the pad closer to the wall and also grab onto the stick with your left hand here, okay? So right hand up, good, from here, Drive the stick into the wall lightly, 15%. And shift those hips in towards the wall. Really try to flex that spine laterally to your left. Open up those in, uh, lateral tissues on the right. In three, two, one, and come back up. Excellent, and relax, okay? We're gonna do one more here. All right, so again, you don't have to go too deep into the stretch. You don't really want to. You wanna feel a good stretch, it shouldn't be painful though. Okay. If you're getting too much pain in the shoulder here, right, you can bring this down a little bit more, right, so you're not in that fully extended position here or overhead position. So here, grab the hand, pull it up top, drive signal to the wall lightly, and then shift those hips towards the bottom corner of the wall here. Hold. Three, two, one, come out, and excellent. Now we're gonna switch sides, okay? So we're gonna try to do that same thing, okay? And the bottom of the stick should be angled where your hips are. It should be aligned with your hips going out laterally, okay? So arm straight up, okay? Lightly drive the stick into the wall. Shift those hips towards the bottom of the wall. Hold. Three, two, one. Back up. And relax. 
Excellent, good. We're gonna do two more here, okay? Arm straight. Drive stick into the wall lightly. Drive those hips down to the corner of the wall. Hold. Real big stretch to the left. Do three, two, one. Back up. Excellent. We're gonna do one more here, okay? Arm straight up. Okay. Drop stick into the wall. Drive those hips towards the bottom of the stick. Hold. Three, two, one. Back up. And excellent. Good. Okay. So now we're going to go to a standing position. Let's actually work on stretching out the hamstrings here. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of a modified version of the bow and arrow real quick, okay? And so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna place my left heel on the bench, okay? Toes are up, that's gonna be extremely important. Don't let your toes point out, don't plantar, uh, plantar flex your ankle. You wanna keep that ankle in flexion. So I'm gonna place the stick right in line where my left knee is, okay? What we're gonna do, I'm gonna have my hand right about where the sticker is. Okay, it's gonna depend on you. I wanna keep my right foot facing forward. Try to keep my hips facing forward as much as I can. I'm gonna take my right hand, grab my thumb facing down towards the floor. Then what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna drive my hips out and extend my hands out, driving the stick towards my left foot. Oh, you're gonna get a huge stretch on the hamstrings here. Three. Two, one, you're gonna come out. Excellent. Now what I'm gonna have you do, I'm gonna have you flatten that foot out on top of the bench here. It's gonna rotate that hip. Now forward or internally rotate that hip instead of being externally rotated. We're gonna do that same thing here. Right foot facing forward. Grab the stick angling down towards the floor. And then I'm going to open up and stretch. Get a really big stretch on the right lateral side here. We're able to get a little bit of a stretch in the adductors, depending on where you're tight. Three, two, one. Come back out. Excellent. We're going to do that one more time. Okay. I'm going to rotate the stick a little bit. This time, I'm going to rotate my toes back up towards the ceiling, getting that hamstring. But this time, we're going to floss in and out of rotating a little bit here. Okay. So, toes are up. Grab the stick right about where the sticker is. Place the right hand on top, thumb facing down. Drive my hips away. Extend those hands out. Now I'm gonna rotate internally. Rotate externally. Internal. External. One more time. Internal. External. Good, come back up slowly. Excellent. We're gonna switch sides, okay? Last one, we're gonna do the same series of steps here. Place the stick right in line with the right knee, okay? Toes are up. Left hand is on top of the stick, thumb face down towards the floor, drive the hips away, then extend those hands out. Really reaching, okay? Hold. Three. Two, one, back in. Excellent, rotate the stick. Place, so internally rotate that leg, okay, that hip. Bring the top, uh, foot flat to the bench, okay. Right from here, same thing. Drive the hips away from the stick, then extend those hands out. Hold. Three, two, one, back in. Excellent. Now we're gonna go back onto the heel, toes up towards the uh, ceiling, okay? We'll take the stick a little bit, all right? Drive the hips away, extend those hands out. Good, I'm gonna internally rotate the hip. External, bring the toes back up towards the ceiling. Internal, external. 
One more time, internal and external. Good, ease out and relax. And that concludes today's class. Thank you for tuning in with me and I'll catch you guys next time.